During normal operation of the M2, the cabin pressure altitude should not exceed 8,000 feet. This is dictated by the Code of Federal Regulations, C.F.R. 14, commonly referred to as the FARs. The regulation that covers maximum cabin pressure allowed on the Citation Jet family is Part 23.841. In essence, it states that the cabin should not exceed 8,000 feet pressure altitude under normal operations. But what if we are landing at an airport elevation higher than 8,000 feet? The cabin will eventually have to match the landing field elevation in order for us to exit the aircraft. If the aircraft were to be landed at a 9,000 or 10,000 foot airport such as Telluride, or Leadville, with the cabin at 8,000 feet, the cabin will rapidly depressurize to the airport elevation at touchdown, courtesy of the landing gear squat switch. This would create an unnecessary discomfort, and is preventable. The system installed to deal with this uncommon but possible scenario is the high-altitude mode of the pressurization controller. Let's say we have set a destination airport elevation of 10,000 feet for Leadville, Colorado and we are departing from Scottsdale, Arizona. Departure, climb out and cruise would be normal. Let's assume a cruise altitude of 39,000 feet. The cabin pressure for the cruise portion of the flight would be just under 8,000 feet. During descent however, the cabin will have to climb to 10,000 feet. This climb will commence as the aircraft descends through approximately 24,500 feet. Also, the red cabin altitude cast message will not illuminate at 10,000 feet as usual. It will illuminate.